massacre of school children in Pakistan. You think we are a nation who is only known for terrorism, but you're not aware that we own it when it comes to optimism? You can keep on thinking of the odds and stay in fright, or you can trust the facts you're about to witness by sights. We're not the troublemakers that the world think we are. We have achieved a lot that is enough to remove this scar. Let's start believing that our economy holds great potential. And step forward to explore the prospects, cause that's essential. We're not just a remarkable Marx present only in the past. Instead, we still hold potential to show the world we're blessed. We were an economy who was followed by others. We got shattered a bit, but stood again to aim for treasures. We made mistakes, faced the consequences, and suffered. This taught us a lot and enabled us to keep ourselves covered. We moved hills, gained titles, and made many other records. Our nation survived the turmoil and made its way through hazards. How can you doubt a nation who doesn't give up at any cause? Pakistan always come back on track when the world think it's lost. We're tough, skilled, talented, and unstoppable. You can check the stats to see how much we're capable. No matter you are national, regional, or international investor, our country has so much to offer. You just name the sector. We're coming forward with the conference of the year will you amiably join hands with us and provide your share Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Thanks for joining us today uh, at the platform of Invest in Pakistan. Uh, today, I'll be hosting this uh, program. Arud Sakib, CEO and founder of Training Institute for Mantas Excellence, President Jumpstart Islamabad chapter. As you know, that Jumpstart is an entrepreneurial movement. Uh, this concept started with Forum Zuberi, uh, you know, it, to bring change into the nation and economy of any country. There are three ways. Either you go to philanthropy, we have seen Abdul Sitar Eri doing that, or it is by the government uh, who takes that initiative. We are aware that government is doing um, whatever they can at their part. And then there is the third way that you develop your youth potential into entrepreneurs who create more jobs and more opportunities and become part of uh, the economy of the country. And that's what we started at Jumpstart. And in that narrative, we conducted lift conferences. And now we are going to conduct an uh, Invest in Pakistan conference from 12th of uh, June till 15th of June. And uh, these three sessions are part of that narrative where we are trying to uh, bring global diaspora and people and businesses across the globe at a unified platform where we could synergize and uh, uh, find ways to you know, help the startups and uh, uh, businesses and you see this COVID-19 has created such a situation across globe where people are finding uh, businesses uh, and whatever is prevalent very challenging in terms of our emotional well-being or whether it's businesses or whether it's economy and that needs collective thought and you know bringing different uh, uh, organizations and uh, collaborations so that you know we can pave this way forward and uh, in this uh, regard uh, Jumpstart and Lyft has uh, initiated this Invest in Conference. Now, keeping this scenario of COVID-19, we see that there are very there are a lot of challenges that the entire globe is facing. Likewise, Pakistan also is facing. What is the way forward out of those challenges? And uh, in this, every challenge provides an opportunity also. And then for us, uh, it is for us to see how we can, you know, uh, bring positivity and uh, improvement uh, and help people to, you know, go through this uh, challenging time. Our today's discussion is based on this very narrative. We see that women are confined to their homes in this COVID-19. And not only that, there is, when we see that women are already marginalized and they are not into sports and other physical activities, so in pandemic situation, that is, uh, the situation is more challenging for them how we can help that because it's not only physical sport anymore we know that our immune system our health our well-being everything is related to uh, you know uh, all this this activity this motivation uh, this strengthening and building of ourselves and uh, physically 
uh, being fit. Uh, so how we can, uh, how we must keep our women and girls active during this COVID-19 pandemic, where activity level is very low. This brings us to our today's guest, who's a very dynamic lady. Mashallah, she has been, uh, you know, experimenting in so many areas. It is so difficult to encompass her achievements, her talent, her uh, potential into a brief intro, but I would try to do justice to it. She's a champion of marketing and public relations. Uh, for the last 18 years, she has been in this industry and facilitating in different areas. She has been organizing events uh, in UK uh, with special reference to Bollywood and South Asian events, uh, mashallah. Uh, she has a diverse experience. When we look at her, I mean, like, it is so enterprising that a woman who's a mother, who's a wife, who's a businesswoman, who's an entrepreneur, she has a passion for, you know, um, sports also. And we see that over the years of time, she has explored and reinvented herself and she ventured into, you know, project directing roles. And now she is currently a project director of, uh, director of Valiant Business uh, Media. That's a global business consultancy. And her, when, when I was talking about that, she's very passionate about sports. Uh, her passion landed her to, you know, uh, conceptualize and develop the idea the first ever idea of T20 camps uh, for the IC Academy Dubai. And that passion landed later on to the formulation, which we are going to discuss with her in detail. Uh, uh, the organization that is, she's founder and CEO of Fem Games, where she is proactively promoting uh, the girls and women's sports and their health and well being. And then how can that be made economically viable? So she has been a uh, spokesperson. She has been uh, taking part in seminars and, you know, events where she could bring this awareness to a, a next level. In this regard, she has contributed to university mentoring and she has been on LinkedIn Corner, very prestigious platforms. Uh, she was part of Lyft Conference last year where she solely initiated the uh, dialogue of women empowerment very successfully. Uh, and I welcome her with this. I know there is a lot more that we can talk about, Eva Qureshi, our guest of today. So welcome, Eva. Thank, thank you, you so much, much for being here. No, thank you. Uh, this was a, 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 you know, you're very good for my ego. That was an amazing intro. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do justice to it. Uh, mashallah, you have such experience that it's so difficult to encompass it in, you know, small time. Mashallah. No, no, you've done You've actually probably made me sound. I was just thinking, is she talking about me? <laughs> I've never done all of these things. You know, when you're when you're part of uh, such a journey, you kind of forget things you've done, and you're concentrating on things that you are doing right now. And then our ball lady, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I did that too, actually. <laughs> so thank you very much. It was, and it's a it's a pleasure to be here. So the flashback to memory, yeah, lovely. Absolutely. I would just straight away jump into the situation that we are facing. Eba, like you're a mother, you're a wife, and alongside uh, you have the responsibility of mentoring. So how do you see this COVID-19 has restricted our life, affected our routine? So yeah. how that pandemic is affecting our well-being? Arut, I think, uh, first of all, uh, COVID-19 has turned the world upside down. So it's not uh, just a particular country, it's the whole entire globe that has been affected. Oh. So we are, you know, we are facing something which is completely uh, abnormal to us, abnormal to anyone, uh, anything, our systems, our, you know, generally uh, our life. And um, so it's affected everything. I think it's affected a lot of things apart from, you know, we economy, we talk about lifestyle, we talk about little things, shopping, you know, going about your normal day, you know, these are things that are just very simple stuff. But if we really get into the, the, the kind of, you know, the health side of things, okay, how has this affected uh, us health wise? So, um, you know, again, like you mentioned that I'm very passionate about sports and about our girls specifically being active, because um, I found that uh, what this pandemic has done is restricted us into our homes and into what we can do outside of home. So obviously there's no school, there's no college, there's no work. 
you are stuck at home um you know and confined kuch logon ke paas itne bade ghar nahi hai ke wo ke ghar ke andar walk kar le you know they're confined into a room perhaps so what you know my concern is how this has affected our uh, mental social you know and physical well-being um there is a lot of talk on mental health everyone's talking about it it's going to affect everyone shayad abhi nazar na aaye hame ke mentally is pe hame kya affect ho raha hai iska lekin kuch mahino mein hame iska zarur asar hoga where we're going to find out that actually this was quite mentally draining uh, during a lockdown initially it was all kind of you know it was a bit nerve there was nerves there was you know we didn't know what was quite going on jab lockdown shuru hua tha aur ab kya hai ki now we're used to this lifestyle i think we're getting used to it i mean in this uk certainly we are used to it so the whole social distancing thing the whole uh, you know getting deliveries instead of going out to buy your groceries if you can and all that business the most important thing that, that i think that the, the the danger of this is ignoring your physical health in all of this um, you know with with the um uh, uh the gyms and you know your normal daily walk being restricted etc uh, it's very difficult to develop a routine where you get some physical activity done remember physical activity doesn't just help you physically it helps you mentally as well so yeah so i think covid-19 has really affected our uh, physical uh, activity um you know our mental health obviously uh socially to hai hai i mean socially we are restricted but we are very lucky we have things like you know this where you can meet online there's a lot of digital you know digital uh, sort yeah. of life become the thing this is how you meet people now so i i'm very happy that you have pointed out the fact that all the more reason in self quarantine that people have to focus on their health and mental well-being and for that they yeah. need to come up with something which is engaging i'm like i i'll take it in a step further how do you see yeah. we can you know especially when i see boys they do still i see that they go out and they play women do not get that chance especially now the summer season is hitting up people do not want to go out and it's a fact because it is very uncomfortable so what do you propose that what can especially women do at home i mean like what activities they can indulge in uh, during this covid 19 time to make it more effective in terms of their health and mental well being uh, let me put it in context aruj um when we started fem games which is in short for people who maybe just joined in fem games is our own initiative and it's a it's a it's it's a humble effort to um to bring sports in girl, in in girl schools in pakistan so what we're trying to do is we developed a uk inspired sports curriculum and we're trying to bring it to pakistan schools specifically yeah. girls schools i did a lot of charity work uh, a few years back and when i revisited some schools in pakistan i felt that um the p lessons and sports were not taken as seriously as maths and english were you know in in generally and i thought that that was one of the first lessons to be cancelled if you had an exam it was the first lesson to be ignored if uh, there was some other issue going on at school if there was some festival or you know some assembly or or some day that they were celebrating etc so i just always thought and in england and, and other countries i felt that uh, pe or sports was never forgiven i mean that was just as important as your maths english and science lesson because physical well being is just as important um as your you know your obviously your mental well being but also uh you know your academics are complemented by your sports lessons right so without uh, sports you are not able to uh you know develop leadership qualities for example uh, how to work in teams you know team building skills these are general life skills that you need in life anyway it's not something that you uh you only need if you go out to work or if you only need if you're in a workspace you need that even if you are in a village looking after a community even if you are a housewife you are managing different people's lives in that house especially in pakistan aapki shaadi sirf you know mai hamesha kehti hu aapki shaadi bande se nahi hoti puri family se hoti hai so you are you know you are to look after an entire generation there as well so for that you need you know you need skills um uh, to develop management skills whether it's leadership skills whether it's uh, team skills or whatever it is you know and and most importantly it's the well-being of the woman um so i think that you know so what we felt was pe was not being taken seriously there was not a lot of structure you know there were some schools don't get me wrong some schools were having a fantastic curriculum but in general we thought that it was being uh, ignored 
So, uh, and there's a research that we did, it was very humble research, where uh, we found that only 26% of girls between the age of 10 to 15 years in Pakistan got more than two hours of activity. Oh my God. And physical activity, okay, in, in a day. Yeah. So, and if you compare that to other countries, it's 54% that get more than two hours. So, I mean, I these, are, these are these astonishing figures, but I think we just don't give any importance to them, which is probably where we're lacking. So uh, what we decided was we'd implement this and we took it to schools and it's been a brilliant uh, year that we've been doing taster sessions in different schools in Karachi. This year we went to Lahore and we, we went to TCF, which is the Citizens Foundation. Um, and we did a we, we, we did a, a lesson there and the girls, you know, the, the response is overwhelming, Uruj. I, I can't tell you how much these girls love us turning up there and doing a simple PE lesson a simple run around games, com competition, activity. You know, it's, it's, it just unki jo ek, um, hame jo feedback milti thi, usse, you know, it was so overwhelming and it was so encouraging. Yeah, this is what they need. And uh, I kid you not, I've had girls who still write to me and say, Ab is we want this permanently in our school. We had so much fun. I've developed my confidence from just this one lesson. You know, and um, my teacher me at the end of the lesson that, she never got up out of her place and she never came out of her comfort zone. But this, this, this I mean, this is one lesson, but it's also about how you bring them out. You know, so you have to identify polishing skills, their talent, right? You have to identify, right? She's not quite the leader, as in she, you know, the one that would stand on her own, but she likes to lead in a group. You kind of you have to identify and you identify that through sports it's a lot easier Absolutely. Absolutely. so you're saying your question was sorry to go back to your question that you know what new activities uh, are needed to adopt what can we do now that we are confined to this new lockdown routine that we have i mean pakistan mein to itna lockdown mujhe nazar bhi nahi aa raha hai wahan pe to you know we are facing a challenging it's, situation it's, here unfortunately so, uh, you know, I, I always say that um, I always encourage people to walk as much as they can. Abhi, agar aap log bahar safely, mujhe pata hai, Pakistan mein ladkiyan thori si, unko thora sa problem hota hai, akele bahar niklein to walk and stuff. Take your brother, take your father, take your mother, if you can. If it's round the block, it's if it's up and down your gully. If you have a garden, if you're lucky enough to have a garden, aap thori si isme, you know, steps count karna shuru kar dein. Sab ke paas aaj kal, you know, everyone has these. Everyone has an iPhone. Or, a, or some kind of phone, you can download an app, up, up steps, up count kar sakte hai. Uh, you know, give yourself, give yourself a target. Okay, hai, today I have to do 2000 steps, I have to go up to 5000 steps, and then, you know, build it up to 10,000 steps if you can. It's a good activity, Joanna, because it's cost free. Hai. You don't need a lot of space, you can even go up and down in your living room, you know. It's just about finding that time. But please, you know, take out at least 20 to 25 minutes a day to do some kind of activity. Even if it means, I mean, hum, yaan pe hum hain. the older generation is not very active here in the Muslim community, for example. So, uh, you know, I'm, the, I'm also a chairperson for uh, this charity here called the Muslim Women's Sports Foundation. And uh, we find that the older generation, unko to, matlab, they have no concept of activity. They don't like it. They get a little bit nervous. They don't like going to the gym. So we talk about, right, get the vacuum out or vacuum kare. You know, I know part of my mom has help bahut hoti hai, but do some, you know, do some kind of activity, even if it means Absolutely. going to the stairs. But the activity, dhuna, it's not a problem. You have siblings. Hai. But walking would be my first thing that I would say. Let's start from there. Let's start from something easy. Um, I think uh, you have beautifully portrayed it because uh, when we are talking about sports, I devised a curriculum for early years and I realized that sport is not only, it gives you a discipline for life, how you're going to manage your emotions, whether you're failing, whether you're winning, how you're going to discipline yourself how you're going to, you know, be resilient and fighting back and getting up. I mean, like that is so important when you talk about leadership. So even every person is a leader in their own house, in their own workspace. And especially in COVID-19, we need to emphasize it more. And I, I, I thank you that you have given such a beautiful tip. Walk to ghar mein kar sakte hai. Seediyan to hum chad sakte hai. I mean, like mopping kar le, sweeping kar le, engage yourself for, you know, Half an hour, yeah. 30 minutes. I am a. This is, a, sorry to cut you, this is for your older, you know, kind of age group. 
I'm, I mean, younger girls, we're talking about 10 to 15 year olds. Unko ye kaam karne ki zarurat nahi hai. Wo to khel, unke to, you know, these are the times when you should be skipping. You know how yeah, difficult yeah. it is to find a rope and skip, right? You do a hundred skips a day or because you're not at school. If you're in school, then you should be careful in the You know, you walk to your bus stop or you walk in school. You walk in school, you walk in school, you walk in school, you walk in school. You know, but, <laughs> No, but like you know, at at home you can find these simple tricks and trips. If and if you're a mother that's listening, get your 10 to 15 year old child because we have seen that under 10 to 15 year olds get activity anyway because they are very active. Both them, either they are running, or they just sit down. Which, if they are a child or a baby, but as soon as you re reach the age of 10 to 15, it's when the activity level fall, and that yeah. is the concern. So that's when you have to say, right, you know, let's do some walking steps. Take your mother, take your sister, take your father. But it will really that help reminds, you confidence. That, that, that reminds me that my daughter just they started playing Kish, you know, with elastic, and yeah. then you jump into it, hop it. Yeah. And one day they called me, they said, Mom, play with us. And I was with them. <laughs> <laughs> you good. know, that made me realize that we being mothers and parents, we need to become part of their sports activities. Yeah. So that we can help them. They do yoga regularly. They call me in the morning, mom, get yeah. up. You need to, you know, work out. And I said, all right. Now I have like two alpha women who are proactively throwing me into, you know, activity. But it is required. But this is what it is, Uruj. Aap apne bachon ke saath. Main yehi mera jo message hai, wo parents ke liye hai. Wo older generation ke liye hai. Ke aapke jo younger generation hai ghar mein, chai wo nieces hai, nephews hai. Unke saath lagay. You know, chodhi chodhi activities hai, jo wo kar rahe hote hai. Even if it is getting a little golf stick or bat and ball, to wahan yaar sabke ghar mein hote hai. Absolutely. You know, wahan pe to itni ito jaga hoti hai, ke aap, you can have a little bit of a runabout. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, uh, that, that is one area that you have given very valuable tips to the. I'm not a fitness trainer. Uh, people and who are a, home at home, you know, they can synergize. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a fitness trainer. Let me just put this out there. But because I am, uh, we are a very active family and we try. And, you know, my husband's a sports person. My daughters play professional cricket at county level. My youngest. He's, he's very young, but he's gone into golf already and he's only four. You know, so we have and we know okay, where, what keeps you motivated. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I, I'm the first one to put my hand up and say, I don't like going to the gym. You know, my husband is always like, you need to go to the gym. You can't just keep doing activities, you know. And I have to that I have to 10,000 steps to complete the next day. I have to do But you have to keep yourself motivated. Absolutely. Absolutely. So important for the well-being. I can't tell you, when you get used to this, you actually get addicted to keeping yourself fit and healthy. You will see Absolutely. the difference, how it makes you happy. You know, they say that exercise releases happy hormones. Absolutely. This is what you're going to do. You know? Yeah. So why, why do we see this, uh, this dichotomy in our society? I, I would like to go to that, that women are not being promoted हम जो पीए का लेसन भी देखते हैं उसमें बच्चियां छाओं में बैठी हुई हैं स्कूलों में या उनको एक बॉल दे देते हैं बॉयज आर मोर इनटू गेम्स एंड स्टफ तो हाउ कैन वी चेंज दिस माइंडसेट एंड व्हाट डू यू सी लाइक यू हैव स्टार्टेड फेम गेम्स इन कराची एंड लाहौर सो व्हाट्स योर ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड व्हाट्स योर टेक ऑन दैट देखिए रोज माइंडसेट हमारा जो है ना इतनी जल्दी चेंज नहीं होगा द इशू वी हैव इज द माइंडसेट दैट वी हैव uh, in families or jo, jo arse se chal rahe, where um, activity or sports was generally given to uh, given quite organically to boys. It was something that it was a bad ball. This is a very bad thing. Now things have changed. Right? Now things have really moved on. We see, I know we've got, uh, we've got uh, I, uh, you know, uh, amazing ideals like uh, Sanamir. We've got Bisma Maruf. We've got Kiran Khan, who's a swimmer of Pakistan. You know, so we've got we've got some great athletes in our country now. But we also have we also have some great opportunities for girls to get in, involved with sports. So, where schools are making tournaments, you know, things like that. So things have moved on. Our problem is just the mindset. Ka hai. Jo aap thi na, it's very interesting what you said. That girls are going to sit in the chair and sit in the chair. Like in the time of the game lesson. Ka time hota hai. Hamare paas ek, uh, body shaming is a lot of body shaming. Wow. Ka, 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 ka,
these are things obviously these are old wives tales so you can't really change someone's mind ke bhai wo dhoop mein dhoop mein nahi khel sakti bhi kali ho jayengi unka rishta nahi aayega you know uh, but chai zyada pee li have you heard that chai chai nahi piya karo kale ho jate you know things like that now these are all cultural embedded uh, kind of mindsets that we still have in our society so what, so what do you suggest what do you what suggest do you how can we change this i suggest that we it's our you know me you other people and the young girls who want to come forward who are already privileged enough to be playing a sport or to be active you know you don't have to become an athlete you just have to keep yourself fit so mera ye ho ki hum iski awareness create kare aruj it's a very important that we have these sessions we have this dialogue whether it's on digital whether it's on tv whether it's in your home with your parents with the older generation with family members unse ye baat kare ki ye ek you know there is there is this gender equality there needs to be gender equality in this let's not look, you know let's not look through the gender lens in this let's just look at it as an equal thing ki ladkiyon ko bhi utni activity levels ki zarurat hai jitni ladkon ko hai so let's you know isme koi sharam ki baat nahi hai isme koi sharam haya nahi hai har cheez hum haya mein kar sakte hain isme koi ye nahi keh raha ki bhai agar aapne sports lesson karna hai to aapko bhai leggings pehnni hai ya aapko ek certain वहां तो यूनिफॉर्म भी नहीं बदलते पी एल एस एन तो उसी उसी में खेल रही होती है बेचारी तो यू नो इट्स आई थिंक इट्स जस्ट अ कल्चरल थिंग एंड व्हाट वी नीड टू डू इज क्रिएट अवेयरनेस सो फेम गेम्स का एक यही है कि हम लोग दो साल के लिए इसको एक पायलट प्रोग्राम बना रहे हैं जिसमें हम सिर्फ सिर्फ टेस्टर सेशन कर रहे हैं टू इनकरेज द नॉर्मलाइजेशन ऑफ playing sport quite equally quite you know fairly and quite easily at school pehle ye baatein humne shuru karni hai taaki parents aake dekhe ki unki betiyan you know what what fitness level they're achieving and how it's affecting their academics etc i absolutely agree with you and one fact that uh, since i come from an educational fraternity and spending 26 years in this i feel i mean like hame afsos ke sath hi kehna padta hai ki there is no curriculum for sports now the realization is there when you say that it is an integral part movement is integral to a child and for his well being whether it's a male or it's a female uh, w- without gender biases uh, we say that it is imperative and yet we see that there is no curriculum designed and i would urge you eba since you're doing such a fantastic job we will join hands and let's formulate a curriculum that can be presented to government of pakistan and yeah. people where they can you know at mass scale implemented at at a pa level p is a 40 minutes class in which that class those girls are just sitting and chit chatting and not even i could i mean like they could play uh, we have our local games we say that there is tinju or there is kokla chapati or there is whatever at least they are doing something and there is so much in terms of sports now which can yeah. develop leadership qualities and this is one of the reasons we don't see any girl in the Post, yeah. uh, sports arena we need to encourage leadership in sports irrespective whether it's cricket or swimming or gymnastics now let me tell you my youngest daughter she is 11 and a half she is fantastic gymnastic uh, person i had to go to a um, lot of places i couldn't find a gymnastic teacher in pakistan yeah. unfortunately i wanted to train her so in terms of bringing awareness to people that what platforms of, uh, are available like fem games is one mashallah now that in pakistan we can look into the girls education and then there is a need to work on the sports curriculum uh, you know that can be facilitated and furnished to other schools so what's your say on that i think absolutely we we've, we've met the government several times and the government has been very very supportive they've in fact the federal government amish afkut mahmood saab se bhi baat hui thi and he is extremely supportive of this he is like you know i you know you can have 600 schools in islamabad and i'm happy for you to roll out the program there and you know you get go for it so it's great it's just about the, um so far we've self funded fem games and it's about getting some funding either from the government or from the private sector to make this you know to make this really effective um which is why we've only been you know uh, been able to do like um sp- spot checks in karachi where we do a few schools in karachi then now we've moved to lahore because of the financial strain uh on 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 one one person or one company for example we've had some great um responses from from companies though uh, who want to be become part of this uh initiative um but you know they ha- i feel that people really need to put their money where their mouth is as well because 
you know, just saying that we really want to support her, you know, uh, we want to we want to do a three year plan with you. We want to do a four year plan. For me, this is not about commercializing this. For me, this is about making it a, a compulsory part of the curriculum, which is there forever, not for two years or three years. And we have a commercialist with it, but it is, it, yes, there is a commercial opportunity. But first of all, it's a narrative and it's important to implement it. I, I absolutely agree with you because when you're talking about this and the way you talk with such passion is to transform the lives. We are not mm -hmm. talking about like one year or two year or three year because then you're talking about, you know, nurturing the future generations and giving them the right mindset and positive mindset, which is very imperative. And I'm very happy that you got good support from the government. But down the line in COVID-19, have you thought about it, Eba, that this platform of FEM Games need to go digital why don't you start uh, the uh, fem game talks where you can uh, encourage the school and college girls mashallah you're such a mentor and influencer and people listen to you and look up to you so those girls can do some activities and engage in this covid 19 time when the schools are closed colleges are closed and we cannot go outside Ruj, um you know digital is not uh okay it's easy here my daughter for example is doing online schooling here okay so while jake wo 8 o'clock se leke 3 30 tak wo apne laptop se hi uh rehti hai teacher se wahi par conversation ho rahi hoti hai wahi par kaam mil raha hota hai what the issue is um when the mindset is so different it's very difficult to engage them on digital as well aapne dekha hoga is covid mein kitni fitness videos aani shuru ho gayi hai digital mein कितनी ज्यादा योगा के वो आ गए पिलाटीज के आ गए ब्लॉगर्स तो मतलब सारी दुनिया के जो है फिटनेस ब्लॉगर्स अब सब डिजिटल पे मतलब एक ही काम रह गया है हमारा कि हम सिर्फ सो इट गेट्स मैं लोगों ने दस दिन किया होगा बीस दिन किया होगा दस दिन कर लिया होगा मैक्सिमम यू नो इट बिकम्स अ लिटिल बिट स्टेल अनटिल एंड लेस यू हैव द मोटिवेशन इन योर सेल्फ डिजिटल विल नॉट हेल्प यू अब डिजिटली हम जरूर स्कूल्स को भी वहां पर तो स्कूल भी बच्चे नहीं जा रहे हैं आई थिंक आई बिलीव दू टू स्टार्ट सून बट यू नो हमारे लिए इसको डिजिटल हमने सोचा था जैसे कोविड का आया था हमने कहा लेट्स चेंज दिस करिकुलम एंड मेक इट डिजिटल सो वी कैन गेट टू दीज गर्ल्स हाउ डू यू गेट टू गर्ल्स हु डोंट हैव डिजिटल एक्सेस जस्ट द काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट द गवर्नमेंट इज हैविंग ऑन ऑनलाइन स्कूलिंग राइट नाउ दैट उनको टीवी पे लगा देते हैं यू नो दे आर यूजिंग पीटीवी और यू नो योर टेरेस्ट्रियल चैनल बिकॉज़ अ लॉट ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन इन रिमोट एरियाज डोंट हैव एक्सेस टू द इंटरनेट या दैट इज द चैलेंज आई आई डू बिलीव दैट that challenge we face but we could uh, perhaps work with a channel quite closely and say right we would like to give you some videos on how to keep active especially for girls aur usko aapne is time pe chalana hai but make it so engaging for the young girls so when you know when 10 to 15 year olds are most likely to watch this program um and perhaps use them uh, some influenced you know influencers or or some kind of um influential people you know or celebrities to help you engage So it's That's the absolutely a beautiful idea. We will mm -hmm. be looking forward to you, darling, <laughs> to come up with you. They said, you know, we can. Masala, we have so many platforms. Jumpstart is there. Invest in, and you're part of already that narrative. And it is so good to see that as a woman, you have taken this on yourself. How challenging was it for you, Abba? I really want to know because since uh, in in our culture, uh, one thing is like to be a dynamic, proactive woman, and then. the spokesperson of sports is uh, doubly tabooed uh uruj i've been very lucky i think i i i did not really receive any backlash i didn't receive any you know i, i have to give credit where where it's due people have been very welcoming jaise maine ye idea to logon se discuss kiya everybody had open arms and they were very very uh forthcoming towards it so aisa mujhe koi backlash nahi dekhna pada jahan mujhe mushkil lagi wo mujhe un ladkiyon ke liye lagi कि वो उनके लिए बहुत एक मुसीबत है कि वो अपने पेरेंट्स से ये भी कहें कि मैं मतलब स्कूल आवर्स के बाद तो बिल्कुल ना मुमकिन है कि वो कहीं जाके कोई एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटी कर सके जो भी करनी है एक्टिविटी वो विद इन स्कूल टाइम में ही करनी है अब स्कूल टाइम में आपको हफ्ते में एक दफा पीई लेसन होता है आधे घंटे का yeah, उसमें इन द वीक और वीक and i was like wo bhi aap log ignore kar dete so it's you know these are the issues that i had i would call hurdles 
मुझे किसी से कोई ऐसा चीनो आई थिंक हम लोग बहुत आगे बढ़ गए हम लोग सोचते हैं कि हमारी माइंड यू नो हमारा चेंज नहीं हुआ है हमारा जहन लेकिन वहां पे है ऐसी फैमिली जो कहते हैं हमें एक तो एक्सेस एक्सेस नहीं पता कि हम वहां तक कैसे पहुंचे कि अगर हमारी बच्ची बैडमिंटन बहुत अच्छा खेलती है लेकिन हमें नहीं पता हम इसको कहाँ लेके जाए बिगेस्ट चैलेंज द मोर या हम मी यू आर अ वेरी प्रिविलेज पोजिशन We can look it up on the internet. हमें कोई बता देगा या वी हम उठते बैठते ऐसे लोगों में है जिनसे हमें इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल जाएगी इट्स नॉट वेरी रेडिली रेडिली अवेलेबल फॉर मैसेज सो यू नो दीज आर दाइंड ऑफ इशूज एंड देन दी अदर थिंग एंड ब्रोक माई हार्ट रूज वेन वी स्टार्टेड फेम गेम्स विच वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई स्टार्टेड फेम गेम्स वॉज यू नो इट वॉज वन ऑफ द टॉप रीजन एक्चुअली वेन आई वॉज वर्किंग एट दिस चैरिटी स्कूल इट वॉज आई वेंट टू डू अल विजिट and uh, i spoke to a parent and i said uh, us, uski beti ne kaha ki wo main sports nahi kar sakti my parents don't want me to play sport um matlab ki bhi main pt lesson kehte hain wahan pe usme main hissa zyada nahi leti kyunki mujhe uh, mama kehti mujhe bhook bahut lagti hai us din jis din main pt lesson karti hu to maine kaha to beta bhook lagti hai to kya matlab usse kya wo hai i didn't know what her circumstances were back at home so her parents Him, we discussed it with them. And I said, "Look, the child is very talented. You can take part in games. It feels good. The rest of the children are more advanced and they are sitting behind. She goes, 'Look, what do I do? The day when I have to take part in games lesson or any kind of activity lesson, I have to make two roti extra because they are hungry. And that broke my heart. As a mother, that was really painful. I was like, 'We don't think about these things. You know, just like these are things. These are real issues.'" so one thing that i went to big brands and the private sector for was that when we want to uh, you know i'd like to mention shahzad roy here you know the singer shahzad roy he's a is a great great singer but an even better human being and he's got this thing with zindagi trust uh, zindagi trust ke andar jinke schools aate hain karachi mein wo run kar rahe amazing amazing setup we we did a little fem games lesson there and it went amazing man you know they provide breakfast for kids you know taki koi bhook they all have breakfast you know so we went to these we went to like big uh, uh, companies and we said look we would like you to provide some form of nutrition chai wo i mean i don't want to i don't want to uh, talk about any brands in particular but like you know milk based uh, brands milk based yeah absolutely so it's a nutritious ho jo aap schools mein provide kare specifically uh, for uh, you know an age group or so uh especially in government schools or trust schools jahan pe hame pata hai ki wo their background or they coming from underprivileged background taki wo at least unki jo bhook hai wo to you know wo to hissa le sake fir usme pe lesson mein is wajah se matlab wo chhode na kisi wajah se so and they were like we weren't aware of these issues that this is why i mean i'm not saying this is the only reason why they don't play sport but it was something that i thought that you This is simple, and because obviously वो आगे काम करने जाती हूँ अपने बच्चों को आगे भेजती हैं काम के लिए स्कूल के बाद तो and if they've done sport or extra activity then they're like they're too tired they won't go and earn money for me so yeah. these are some issues that I came across but not personally anything myself no but again you have brought the very important thing by this you know we need to keep the human element irrespective whatever we are doing and there's so many people who are working. So I mean, like diet and nutrition is very important. If the child is feeling hungry and you're not letting, unfortunately, we do not come up with the smart moves. When I was working with the, uh, you know, underprivileged community, and when we were talking about how they can, you know, uh, co- cover the issue of malnutrition, so वहाँ पे एक आंटी थी, उन्होंने बताया कि जी जो सूजी का हलवा है और आटा उसको मिला के चीनी को मिला के, so they make, uh, they call it a khajur because they they roll it like a khajur and they fry it. and that is very nourishing so i mean like we need to come up with solutions that we can you know find and there are already so bajaye iske ke aap bhooka rakhe ya jaise aapne abhi milk ki baat ki ki koi sponsor kar de to khali ek yahi nahi hai usse sport se related related jitne aspects hain chahe wo awareness hai taboos ko khatam karne ke liye chahe wo nutritional aspect hai chahe ye because ye nation building hai you know to, to raise a child is not one person's job you need a clan you need a the entire village to help you out do that and when yeah. you're taking such a huge narrative i mean like uh, hats off to you to singularly you know taking this voice and so passionately working on it and with this platform where we are talking our aim at invest in pakistan conference is to bring people so that they can invest into such uh, you know causes which can create 
further job opportunities which can create entrepreneur entrepreneur and more skilled uh, people and they can help us you know find the challenges look at the uh, women sports in pakistan i mean that is the totally untapped market i would say where nobody has invested any and anybody who is going to take it up is going to be the pioneer there absolutely i would say a uh, hats off to the pcb who have really upped their game when it comes to uh, the, the, the women's team for example abhi aapne recently dekha hoga ki unke contracts bhi equal tak takriban ho gaye hain they're getting some some of the same fringe benefits that the men's team get i mean i know because obviously my husband has played for pakistan and it's been uh, you know I, i remember when when uh, i got married i there was no sign of a pakistan women's team i mean इतना पता नहीं होता था कि वो लोग क्या कर रही हैं कहाँ पे जा रही हैं कौन से टूर्नामेंट्स हो रहे हैं लेकिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नो हैड्स ऑफ द पीसीबी फॉर ब्रिंगिंग देम अप टू द लेवल दैट एवरीवन एक्सपेक्ट्स देम टू बी एंड दैट द वर्ल्ड इज इन एज वेल द रेस्ट ऑफ द यू नो टीम्स दैट आर वुमेंस टीम्स इन अदर कंट्रीज दे आर इन इन वेरी गुड पोजीशंस दे गेट अ ग्रेट पैकिंग दे गेट सम ग्रेट टूर्नामेंट्स टू प्ले इन uh now they are also you know flying business class jo ke was unknown before uh you know which is i mean these are little benefits that you should give your absolutely. sports class, right absolutely absolutely and i would say that fem games is not about making you into an athlete it is about your literally your physical your social and your mental well being you can it's about encouraging your child to get that minimum of 2 hours of exercise or activity a day to keep them mentally stimulated to aap unko chahe mathematician banaye accountant banaye unko housewife banaye kuch bhi kare ye life skills are important which are only learned from uh, activity and from sport and games but for that we need to bring in structured curriculum like you said in sports in schools taaki us us it you know a development process hota hai फिर उसका इम्पैक्ट आप देखते हैं तो फैम गेम्स का भी एक मॉनिटरिंग प्रोसेस है जब ये इंशाल्लाह परमानेंटली जाएगा स्कूल्स में एज अ करिकुलम देन देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ मॉनिटरिंग लेवल एज वेल एंड इवेल्युएशन एट द एंड ऑफ इट जैसे आपको एकेडमिक रिपोर्ट आती है आपको फैम गेम्स से एक एक रिपोर्ट आएगी फिजिकल रिपोर्ट आएगी जब स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हाउ शी स्टार्टेड ऑफ एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ दर अकॉर्डिंग टू हर फिटनेस लेवल वेदर इट्स हर बी एम आई वेदर इट्स हर यू नो हार्ट रेट हर Uh, you know even diabetes for example these things need to be uh, you know assessed at an early stage agar school mein absolutely a bachcha bahut hi bimar ho to aapko pata chale yaar they're borderline diabetic and you know i mean this is a different conversation to have because it's more medicine it's not really my 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 area of of expertise but i just believe that you know uh, so this app would for example in the beginning of the year tell you that this is this is the level that your child is at by the end of the year you will be able to compare by the activity that we've imposed on them and that they you know that they've also taken part in where they've got to so what their fitness levels are then what their bmi is then how has that improved their academic levels you know have they done in their exams for example because this is what we do here matlab the p so hamara jo p ki report aati hai school ki wo bhi top pe hoti just like okay maths aur english ki hoti hai wo koi niche nahi dabi hui hoti aur parents usko miss nahi kar sakte so these are these are really important uh, you know i, I absolutely agree with you ki hum sports ko khud importance denge jaise wahan pe aap keh rahi hain ki sab subjects ke sath report aati hai and the, another important fact that you have mentioned and i'm so happy that you have talked about it that it is so important to monitor and evaluate and get the feedback without that any program cannot progress and then you like you said that you have seen the challenges and then you have coped with them and you have come up with the mechanisms and you're discussing with people and that's how uh, any initiative you know progresses on the curb and that is what is needed and especially uh, we see that in pakistan the implementation part is lacking it's not that the initiatives are not there pcb is applaudable because we see the change like you have mentioned uh, that yeah. they have uh, geared up their game the realization is very much there if i talk about my time like 20 years back sports was not that much in but my daughters are in a very much better condition and being uh, mothers that we are very aware of so we also take care of it but the onus is on us also now that we need to bring this awareness to another level yeah. and take it to the community level where yeah. people who are not that privileged can avail those facilities and you know be better human beings it yeah. is all about improving the quality of life improving the mental well being 
and then be able to be more productive human beings so that's very nice now i'm going to go to who is your you know uh, inspiration as as far as women go who you look up to i uh, since you are so passionate about sports in sports was my inspiration yeah yeah, yeah. um i mean you know female wise i would say that uh serena williams is is a is a brilliant oh yeah she absolutely she's had uh, great achievements uh you know i i think that she's brilliant sana meer from pakistan has been an absolute breath of fresh air yeah. i think that maine sahi waqt mein ye shuru kiya hai kaam ke wo aayi hain aur you know she is like one of the first women to be like she's a brand for sport female sport Absolutely. in my opinion but my inspiration and i don't know whether i'm slightly biased uh would be that i've taken great inspiration from a very dear friend of mine as well but a big you know global superstar as well and uh, uh, sania mirza because sania has just like sanam as well has come she you know she fought against a lot of um biases you know whether it was Absolutely. not but also being a muslim in an indian country uh also being a girl in a muslim community you know hum hamare ko kyun chhodte hain so i'm just saying that you know wo she's done so well despite all of that and she is so determined she is so successful she and and again she's proved that you can still be a daughter a mother a wife and Absolutely. a leader in something like sports and if you meet her ever and if you see her um if you see one of her programs she is just such a well-rounded individual she really knows what she wants she knows oh, yeah. how to manage things she she knows how to bring up people how to keep people together matlab aapko pata chal jata hai from the level of their you know uh, their conversation that uh, how that person will manage in difficult situations is she someone that would obviously she's resilient so sports speak you know completely teaches you resilience and that's something a woman needs in her entire life it generally you have to be Absolutely. a super strong resilience you need it even if you're a housewife even if you're just a you know to hum log because this is this is the way life is we have to we are we are multitasking we hear a lot of criticism but Absolutely. you need to know how to be resilient how to develop positive um you know uh, sort of positive responses to these criticisms rather than oh mujhe ye keh diya and that's it i'm not good enough and you know your confidence levels are completely being bashed they're being bashed all the time as a woman that's at least how my experience but agar aap andar se mazboot ho aapka support system bahut acha hona chahiye whether it's your parents whether it's your husband you know your brother sister aapka support system bahut acha hona chahiye um but so i think yeah support your girls you know it's it's time that hum ab duniya ke sath thoda sa muqable mein aaye you know uh, being a pakistani representing in in england you know we travel so much it it makes me I, i swell with pride when they talk about imran khan you know somebody from i don't know a european country will know who imran khan is and aapko aisa feel hota hai ki yaar imran khan's put pakistan you are solid yes yeah you know and and then you know if you talk about like for example sanya does the same for india you know it's just it's just one of these things that you have to respect your ambassadors take inspiration from them you know our hamari sabse pehle jo baat aani shuru ho jati hai wo ye hoti hai ki sports ki athletes ki baat karo to hai wo pehnegi kya oh wo sabke samne khelegi oh but this you know i mean these are issues which are at a different level you come to that you know cross that bridge when you come to it if she's being becoming an athlete yeah. that's yeah. a conscious decision that you make at a later stage but for that think about their uh, mental and social well being think about how important it is it is for them to get the activity and then aage jaake har cheez mein restriction na paida kar de you know ke absolutely ho sakta so har cheez like i said in the girls school na to obviously it's girls only they're playing around girls there's no shame in that but uh, it's a mindset to rule and we have a we we have to, a lot of awareness to create i think but we are getting there I absolutely agree with you and the people you have mentioned mashallah they are all inspiration uh, for all of us and, and and the fact that you need to have a support network that is such a key thing that you have mentioned we see like i see my own journey there was so much criticism for what i am doing because not everybody receives it in that manner but then again coming from a very uh, supportive background myself i have been athlete in my Uh, college life you know javelin throws and this case and yeah. 
uh, races and whatever i was uh, in the badminton uh, college team but then again that teaches you how to you know take that and move ahead and you know yeah. dissect those things and we need to teach the, those things to our girls and what better way than sports to you know embed those decision making qualities uh, you know uh, uh, you know facing that resistance and still be resilient so um with this i would go to another question we since our time is you know wrapping up also that what would you recommend to girls and women who want to land into the sports field or opt it as a profession what would be your take for them or tip for them i mean this is something that uh, you know it starts from home you need to make sure that you have some form of support from home first without your parents it's impossible to pursue a career that is just as demanding and perhaps slightly out of your culture fit you know um there is no shame in it aap apne parents se baat kare aap unko batayein if you are very lucky enough to have parents who understand and they can see your potential then you're in an even better position dusri baat ye hai ki apne school mein aap jitna push kar sakte hain for good games and activities um and participate in extracurricular tournaments so tournaments that are happening outside of school find out about them you know uh give trials if you're good at a particular sport i would say practice make sure you're good at that and then give trials for that particular sport cricket ke har jagah trials ho rahe hote hain pcb pe ho rahe hote hain schools ke andar under 15s ke and you know so uh you know things like that uh, but the main thing is work hard at whatever you want to do so if it is tennis if it is badminton work hard but again you need that support to work hard with you because without the parents without that support it's impossible to get to a certain level the, the, yeah you should definitely pursue your dreams pursue your dreams absolutely absolutely hard work is important to harness one skill whatever you're doing to be your best you need to you know uh, work on that another thing like uh, you mentioned about uh, fem games and other initiatives that you are passionately working on i would uh, i would like you to you know let the people know who are with us now how they can approach put you how they can contact you if they want to um look uh, like i said we so email address there is an email address we have a team in karachi that uh, does my little fem games uh, activities and stuff out there um get in touch with us it's uh, hello at femgames.com uh, you can go to our website or my profile uh, on instagram and it has the details uh, you can get in touch with us and let us know how you would like to get involved um i've had several emails from young girls and uh, female coaches who have said we would love to come and help you uh, implement this in school so we are looking for as much, you know we'd like to empower women through work as well, um so that we can employ them as coaches and uh, and send them out to schools and the teachers for example have one fem game sessions you know? um so uh, get involved yeah just send send us, send us an email or um and let me know your area of interest um we would definitely be looking at it um and also sabse pehle jo aap sabse zyada kar sakte hain na aap fem games ko bina dekhe aap apne school mein jahan par bhi aap hain aapke bacche jo school mein jaate hain wahan pe aap zara curriculum ko dekhe sports ka ke jo curriculum hai aur unse kahe ki isko ya to acha kare aur agar bahut acha hai to koi baat nahi agar nahi hai to uske liye advocate kare thoda sa schools ko push kare um aur koshish kare ki wo samjhe ki how important it is to have a good game session for your child and i'm sure you know when the parents go to school they do listen to the parents so uh, try and push your child also outside of school jab wo ghar aa chuke aa chuke i know ke wahan bachcho ki routine bahut kafi sakht hoti hai i mean i you know they come from school phir unhe bhi tuition jana hai phir unhe ne always aapke paas jana hai phir you know it's like a non stop all day thing and then their homework is like 2 3 hours worth try and find some time for your child so that they get some activity in between absolutely and i'm not i got a friend <laughs> I'm not parenting here I'm not saying that I'm like a good great parent or anything but I'm just saying that these are simple things that we can do for our children. So a uh, one question very interesting question came from WhatsApp and they want to know that how two stars two super you know mega human beings are coexisting. I know other boys Marshall are doing fantastically at a, a, a cricket field and you are Marshall are very proactive so are there sometimes clashes of opinions how do you maintain work life balance? <laughs> um you know i've been very lucky alhamdulillah azhar is a very he's a very supportive father 
Uh, my daughters, my eldest two, Naya and Manha, would not have been able to play county cricket if it wasn't for their father. You know, their oh, father oh, had seen the talent and he pursued them and go practice karwate and go leke jate, you know, pushing them out of their zone. Uh, you know, so and and I had my third was a son. And uh, he I was always asked uh, when I had two children, two girls, okay, do you not want a cricketer? Do you not want a cricketer? And I was like, it doesn't make a difference. Um, but you could be cricketer when asked. These are the, you know, Azhar is uh, me and Azhar don't, you know, we don't. When it comes to work, we quite give each other a lot of space. We respect each other's space. We support each other. I try to support as much as I can uh, with his career. I took a back seat in my career when he was at uh, long stints outside of uh, England. Uh, when he, for example, as a boy, I was at home with kids. I was just a newborn, actually, at the time that he'd left. He'd gone for three. Years. So you know, these are sacrifices that you have to make in a marriage, and that's how it works. Be very supportive. I mean, he's the project, uh, the program director for Fem Games. He's the one with the sessions to thinking about the fitness levels of Pakistan of that age, you know, uh, developing them so that they're engaging and they're very kind of game, you know, uh, game-based skills rather than very kind of uh, boring, you know, theoretical skills to be done. So that's absolutely fantastic. Bhai is very supportive and you're very right to make the marriage work <laughs> and you, we have to get sacrifices and balances from both sides. Uh, this brings to us to end of our program. I mean, like I'm enjoying so much talking to you, Eba. You are so enterprising and so refreshing and you're talking so relevant, which is the need of the hour for our, you know, women and girls. Uh, but any last message that you want to give to the girls, especially to invest in conference that is going to take place to all the global community that is listening out there who are related to sports or working on, on sports, how can they contribute and, you know, help this uh, narrative? My my message, first of all, would be to stay safe in the current climate in Pakistan. You know, take this COVID seriously. It is not a joke. Uh, Pakistan is suffering at the moment. Uh, you know, jab Eid pe logon ko main dekh thi through videos and stuff ke yahan pe aari thi jo videos YouTube pe aari thi ya waise bhi social media pe chal rahi thi. People were still going out without masks and stuff. You know, please take care and stay safe. Uh, just you know, everybody is saying the same thing, but you actually have to practice that as well. You know, you, you cannot think, yeah, you actually kisi ko bhi ho um, So, you know, just, just stay safe. My other, my other main thing would be that uh, really, you know, that uh, with girls, especially when it comes to this, is try and create awareness around you about activity and physical activity as much as you can. Um, right now, social media takes a huge toll on our lives. We see a lot of uh, people doing a lot of things on there. So take inspiration from it rather than thinking, hum to ye kar nahi sakte, hamare paas to ye hai nahi facilities. Hum, you know, make the change, make the change and do with what you have. That would be my 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 uh, kind of message to them. Get, you know, until you get up and do something, it's, you know, it, it, it you won't know the impact of it. You won't know the results. Just That's by saying, just by becoming negative and saying, Mujhe to nahi hogi, mujhe to ye nahi hogi. you know, we don't have all these facilities. Because sometimes social media can be quite demeaning, it can be quite overwhelming, where you say, you see other people's lives, oh, perfect. Wo to gym ja sakti, wo to activity kar sakti, she doesn't have to do. Actually, it can, you know, activity is in anybody's life. It's that you don't have to be privileged to have an active lifestyle. You have to have the motivation and the importance of it within you first. Um, and thirdly, for the regards to your investment, you know, the investment conference you were talking about, I would really urge sports related companies or any companies, any brand companies that would like to empower women through sport, through games, through PE at school to come forward and, and use their CSR, uh, you know, based um, money or projects or funds that they have, CSR funds that they have to put in these because, you know, these are socially responsible uh, issues that we need to tackle um and you know and if you are a socially responsible company come forward invest in pakistan invest in the future of girls uh, you know women empowerment is a huge buzzword at the moment but there's no point in talking about women empowerment if you're not going to do anything about it so i would urge them to come forward and, and invest in in curriculums and things like that thank you so much abba Qureshi. it was a pleasure having you here and such a I mean, like, I don't want to finish this discussion, but still, we know, time is, you know, running out. And you have very well rightly said that this requires, you know, 
whatever we have at hand we need to utilize those things and it it also requires a growth mindset you know generating positivity don't look at the negatives look at whatever you can do and how you can contribute back with this i thank you and all the viewers who are online inshallah with a new person with new topic we will be getting back to you and inshallah abba will be calling you again to such inspirational sessions my pleasure thank you thank you Pakistan is a country with uh, great potential. Now Pakistan in my opinion is ready. Right now is the best time for investors to come to our country. Now Pakistan's stock market is booming. Stock prices are at their highest level ever and investments are pouring in. Spending more than 50 billion dollars on energy and infrastructure in Pakistan.